Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing our predictions for the Backlash pay-per-view. Yes. The co-branded yes. Backlash pay-per-view. Whatever they so call dumb. it now. The uh... So dumb. <clears throat> yeah. Whatever. Um. So, we had the Greatest Royal Rumble last week. Yes. And now we have a pay-per-view. Yeah, it's a mess. A little bit. I mean... All kinds of mess. <clears throat> a lot of these are matches for well rematch clauses and such mm. or matches that were set up before the greatest royal rumble even happened right meaning that most of the matches at the greatest royal rumble didn't mean anything yeah because so. uh yeah it just felt like kind of a uh, super long house show oh yeah well that's technically what it was so it's not really like that big of a right. surprise <clears throat> i mean the only title that changed hands was the uh, tag titles and it was going to happen regardless. Yeah, because it wasn't defended. It was just being right. crowned. That is true. Yeah, so, um, so yeah. Now we're going to talk about our predictions for the pay-per-view. Yeah. <clears throat> and there's nothing set up for the pre-show, so... What are we, are we thinking, that it's going to be a match that's currently on the card, or... I don't know. I feel like they'll throw something in there. Yeah, like the fashion <clears throat> police against someone, or whatever. Yeah, maybe something like that. Or the know. club against somebody or whatever right that would make sense sure i don't know no idea all these people like to be on the pre-show so well the thing is that now there's only one pay-per-view therefore there's a lot less uh that was different yeah that was weird anyway. um, a lot less room yeah and who knows what they're because i would imagine it's going to stick to one match on the pre-show for some reason yeah probably granted yeah obviously well in all <laughs> fairness the pre-show is a waste of time anyway for the most part unless you haven't watched any of the wrestling leading up to the paper and even then you don't you really need to know what's going on it's true because they play the video package before the match anyway um mm -hmm. uh, so what do we think is going to open the show <clears throat> um, i think it might be uh daniel bryan versus big Cass. yeah that's that's really the only match, unless it's a or the tag match, the brawn. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, maybe because it's like they like to open hot sometimes. Yeah. So it's either Daniel Bryan, people are being excited about watching him wrestle, or the, so that one. I would think. Did they put this match on the tag match because there's no other tag team matches on the show? Maybe, <laughs> or they wanted brawn on the pay per view. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, there's a lot of names left out. Oh yeah. I mean, Finn's not on it. Um, form, no tag team titles defended. Nope. No so, tag teams yeah. besides the tag team match of two men. Well, yeah, but they're not actually tag teams. <clears throat> I mean, granted, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are probably going to be tag team champions at one point on Raw because it seems like that's what they're going to do is they're keep, gonna them keep them together. together yeah. yeah. would make sense. And right. It, it, I like the idea of them having strictly names put together mm -hmm. instead of having it where it's just like random people matched the up. generic or the the teams that are like kind of forced not mm, really forced but like because kevin owens and sammy zane uh Dolph have Ziggler yeah, and, yeah. and drew mcintyre well there's like not obviously that much history there but they feel like they like are they have a connection mm -hmm. whereas teams like the usos aren't a good example but like teams like the Usos, gotcha. like the Ascension, mm -hmm. where they feel like they're just, that's what they are, a team. A team, and that's where, it, yeah. Whereas the other other teams are, or the teams that are, like, two individuals put together, they feel more, like, I guess, real. I guess. Or they feel more, like, not threatening, but, like, more believable that they're dominant. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. So, <clears throat> that's but my thing. That I would be fine if that's what they did with Owens and Zayn. If they put them in a feud with uh, Wyatt and yeah, Hardy, that would, that would that would be something. Because l let's be honest, Wyatt and Hardy don't need the tag titles. It's all nope. character based. That's exactly. all there. They, I don't even. Yeah, like you said in our review, uh, we can review that there was really no reason to put the titles on them. Yeah, except for the fact that there was no other option. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, all right, which so is one hundred percent true. Yeah, let's talk about predictions. Here. Yes. All right, so you're gonna. Th Say that Daniel Bryan and Big Cass are going to open the show. Yeah, it, it it would make sense. It's true. Um, I mean, there's there's no way they let Daniel Bryan lose his uh, obviously return pay per view match. Well, I mean, granted, he was at Mania, was, right? But, but he won that match. <clears throat> it's true. I mean, granted, 
Daniel Bryan gains nothing by going over Big Cass. And, it's but, true. But, but again, I like think I, the fact that uh, Cass is in the feud with him is more beneficial to him. Than it's true. Anything that could be for um, for um, Daniel Bryan, right? Because there's really nothing that can improve his status. No, no, not at all. <clears throat> so, um, and like I said, that Cass was able to eliminate Daniel Bryan from the Greatest Royal Rumble. So that's probably his. Uh, that's going to be his thing. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> that it's was his, his win in this feud. Yeah. And the 50 50 <clears throat> booking. Right. Right. So. So you're in agreement there. Oh, yeah. Dan yeah Danny Bryan's going to win. Yeah. That's what no I think. No way, no how does he lose. Mm-hmm. Um, so up next, thinking maybe Nia versus Alexa. Sure. Um, I would it's imagine awesome, that Nia's going to win. Belt. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because it, it just. It makes more sense to continue, and you kind of, I guess, put an end to Alexa's... Well, I mean, she's, at this point, been kind of at, uh, I guess, upheld higher, or higher than the rest of the women's division. She hasn't been in the stupid tag matches or thrown-together matches. I mean, she's come out just to basically attack Bliss, but that was about it. I think I heard that the reason why she hasn't been wrestling the last few weeks is because she had some kind of breast enhancement surgery. Bless? I was talking about Nia. Oh, Nia. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, how she was, you know, kept kind of above oh, the oh, rest oh, of the... Oh, like, okay. she's almost like a block, Brock Lesnar looking down on the rest of the uh, yeah, kind of. roster because they really haven't had her do anything. Yeah, well, at the same time, you don't want anyone to look bad, and the only way to make her look good is by right. making other yeah. people look yeah, bad. Yeah, and you kind of build your way up so. to face the, uh, the top dog. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I, and, I, yeah. But yeah, Nia's probably going to retain. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know what they're going to do with Bliss next unless they continue this Mickey, her, and. Yeah, Natalia. well, she'll probably just be in Mickey's corner if Rhonda is, in fact, going to be in a program with Mickey James. I'm surprised they didn't have her for the pay per view in some sort of. I mean, granted, it still can happen. Yeah. Should they. Well. Uh, hmm. well I have no idea. Yeah. Unless they just throw a match together or something. Yeah, I don't know. But who knows? I mean, it's a typical three-hour length pay-per-view, so... Or I mean, or maybe it's she has something going on that day, so she wasn't going to be there anyway. Always possible. <laughs> One, two, or it'll just three, be some backstage five. segment. Also possible. Yeah. Could be between... Like, it could be, like, after the Nia versus Alexa, and then they run into... Alexa and Mickey run into them in the back or something stupid like something. that. Something. Um, probably one of the U.S. or IC title match next, maybe. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Probably yeah. the U.S. title match. All right. Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton. Yeah. Um, there's no reason Randy Orton should win this back. No, 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 absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. Um, I think this was a technicality. They came up with the send gender to Raw with the belt. Um, not thinking or. They set up him, Jinder versus Orton, before they knew they that they were going to send them to Raw. Yes, yeah, I got. So you. this is what R- Randy was supposed to have this match. Mm-hmm. So, so then they just threw something together between him and Jeff. Yes, and, yeah. So after this, when Orton loses, he'll just forget about it and probably feud with like the Miz, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Well, you know, they kind of set up a little bit. Yeah. Last night. That's true. So that is true. Um, but yeah. Yep. So I guess we'll go into the other mid card title. Well, we didn't say who's going to win. Oh, well, I, I guess think we, we did. both yeah, said Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. yeah. I, I guess we didn't. I guess because we didn't officially say. It. I guess so. And not that it matters, but yeah, both think Jeff. This is really giving yeah. trouble here. Yeah. Um. Oh, you got uh, Charlotte and Carmella too. I was going to put that as the buffer match between the t- last two matches. Oh, I got. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you have. Uh, Fair enough. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah. So, anyway. Sorry. Up next, we're going to go with this, uh, Seth Rollins versus The Miz. Yeah. And, um, I mean... This one's another obvious one. Yeah, it's... Because, well, we had this the first time they did the draft. Yeah. You can't have both titles on the same show. No. No matter how much they what tease it. What should have been here is that The Miz was doing his own thing on SmackDown... Finn should have won the greatest, the ladder match at the greatest Royal Rumble, and then you could have had the rematch here. Yeah, exactly. It's, but no, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. All right. But I mean, again, okay, yeah, like you said, obviously, obviously, Seth's Seth's, gonna win. Yeah, he's gonna hold, keep the title. 
on Monday Night Raw because you already have a mid card title on SmackDown. Yep, and it's being held by Jeff. All right. Had, had it was had it been Jeff versus Jinder, then there was a possibility that yeah, I, I, I know it, it, not really, but at the same time, technically yes. Right, but I mean, Jinder is an easier person to you know change titles. Like you can have him lose to pretty much anybody oh, on the Raw roster, yeah. but then you have Seth Rollins holding the you know the mid card title. It's a little harder to get it off of yeah, him. Yeah, because it's less believable if right. someone yeah. lower than him beats him. Yeah. So Finn really is the only one who can really take the title at from this, him right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, at this yeah. point. Unless he has to vacate it from injury mm-hmm. or is toppled by a heel Factory, that has like, like yeah. yeah, like a backup and stuff. Like a Kevin Owens or a Sami Zayn. Right, right. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because I'm sure eventually we'll go down that road. Mm-hmm. Exam. So... Um, but yeah, then once you get Ambrose back, Jason Jordan, Chad Gable, then in that range you can probably yeah. Then there's a little more room. the title. Yeah, exactly. as stuff is is right now, not so much. Yeah, because no. um, it's that weird spot of the upper mid card. Because well, you don't have a main title well, on yeah. the show because you you have a main eventer technically holding a mid card belt. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a hard thing to do. I mean, to be fair, that can be said about the U.S. title too. Yeah. Also, although. Um, Roman did lose to the to the Miz, Miz yeah. so it's kind of granted, you know. I know he did they have was, help, yeah, mm-hmm. but at the same time, he still did lose. So. Yeah, that is true. Um, that is true. Yeah. Up next, we have Bob uh, Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley versus Owens and Zayn. Um, yeah. I mean, Braun is going to destroy yeah. every. He might even beat up Bobby Lashley. <laughs> that would be fine. Um. Yeah, I mean, Bobby Lashley is not going to look good. And is there any scenario where Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn go over here? Um, the only thing is they haven't really been establishing them as like able to do anything because mm. it's Braun gets in the match, Braun right, and then decimates. decimates him. Yeah, exactly. So the if hard there thing. was, if they figured out a weakness mm-hmm. at all, there was a chance. Right, but there's literally nothing. No. And it's not like you, they could get somebody to help them out against yeah, them. Yeah, there's nobody because Jinder <laughs> was the only option, and it's not like yeah, it's not like um, Jinder and Samil are going to be do anything. So no. it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we just had a lot of names left off the uh, oh yeah the card. We'll get a battle royal on the pre-show. <laughs> the winner will be. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah. I got nothing. I got nothing. Still should have had the winner of the Greatest Rumble get a shot at Money in the Bank or SummerSlam or something like that. Yeah, but instead it's going to be a completely waste of time yeah, thing. Yeah, which so. maybe Braun getting it eventually anyway. Yeah, because Braun didn't even have the belt with him. On no, he had the trophy, though, I thought. Yeah, but he didn't have the belt for yeah. whatever reason. Yeah, whatever. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so up next, this is realistic, not what we want. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think before. the women's title match is going to be right after the... Why? I don't they know. They always have a buffer match. Yeah, I know they do. Know. Unless they do the tag team match then. What, between the two? Yeah. I don't I think don't so. Know. I don't know. Okay. The The crowd should like AJ and Shinsuke. Yeah. They're going to like Braun and Braun beating up everybody. Mm. And then... They're gonna have the main event that everyone's gonna hate. I guess, yeah. So that's true. I don't. And then again, I guess when you're setting up for a main event that, well, actually, I don't know if they're gonna hate it, but it's gonna be one sided. AJ and Shinsuke could still main event the show. There's always the I possibility. I, I, they should, no, but I, I don't agree. think they're going to. All right, well, whatever. Anyway, yeah, we got AJ versus Shinsuke up next. Yep. No disqualification match for the WWE nope. Championship. You pick your winner. I'm just gonna pick the opposite since we're. Uh, I guess maybe the uh, other matches we might differ on. Well, I think that AJ will retain. Yeah. Um, I liked your, he's going to have a cup this time idea. Yeah. So you're going to pick uh, Shinsuke? I feel... Or you wanted me to pick Shinsuke so you could pick AJ? No, oh. no, 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 it didn't matter. I mean, I still think there's a chance that Shinsuke goes over. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And it could be because he has help from Aiden English. Mm, or something like that. Because yeah, obviously, uh, I think it's a little too early for that because it looked like Aiden didn't know what was going on. No, but no, no, still, I'm sure because something I, could. Well, happen. I'm sure we'll get a Rusev versus Aiden English feud for maybe. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it could just be intertwined with uh, everything. Shinsuke um, having because there could just be a feud between Rusev and Shinsuke. I guess if if he loses the belt yeah. or if he doesn't win, that could be his next feud, and AJ moves on to Joe. Yeah, so that would make sense. That's true. Um, but I mean, it's just pure speculation. Absolutely. So, you know, it can be completely different. Oh yeah. For all we know, Rusev could be gone next week. Yeah, who knows? That's that's what's holding him back. The WWE. <laughs> well, we all know that. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't eaten English at all. It yeah. was the WWE I, themselves. That, I could I could believe it could be a swerve too. It could be something stupid like that. Yeah. It could be like oh the fans they don't they just chant you. They don't know. What they, they don't want. understand. They don't understand the real meaning of Rusev Day. Yeah. All right. So up next we have the women's championship match or the SmackDown Women's Championship match. Mm-hmm. We got Charlotte versus Carmella. Yeah. Um, um, like we talked about in our weekly review, that it's kind of hard for Charlotte to retain or win the title back because you don't really have any viable opponents for her yep. unless they do something with Asuka. Yeah, I think it's too too Early close for to um, their match that they At had Mania. at WrestleMania. Yeah. It hasn't been long enough. I think that Carmella is going to win with some help. I, I would agree. All right, so Carmella. You know, you think they could, uh, if Jeff retains, maybe have Andrade come in and have him as I would Jeff's have, first feud? I would imagine that that's going to be what they're going yeah. to do. Cause, it makes sense. Yeah, they didn't bring him. They didn't have him on the show until mm-hmm. after the pay per view because probably the person they were planning on having a feud with is currently busy. Yeah, that would make sense to me. It's true because there's really not a whole lot of other people that not would make sense. Part, yeah, because. They they really got rid of the mid card on SmackDown. Yeah, I mean, granted, it still wasn't even a real mid card. It was no. like a lower mid card. Yeah, but now it's all main eventers or nothing. Yeah. Because Almas can't, there's no um, room for him to face a heel. Because there's no, like, back and forth. No, unless they have Rusev and Jeff, too. It's that would possibility. All, yes, but I think if we're talking about Almas, yeah. yeah, Jeff would make the most sense for him. Um, and then we have the unfortunate but possible main event of Roman Reigns versus Samoa Joe. I mean, they've been building this matchup so much, though. They have, yeah. So while it's a completely irrelevant match that's not no. going to do any good for either competitor, mm-hmm. it, it probably will go on last. Yeah, and like... It's a shame. Because Shinsuke yeah. and AJ should go on last. No. But at the same time, this is the third time that they faced each other yeah. in a month. That's true. And it was what? Uh, the middle? Or was it was it right before the uh, cage match on oh, Greatest Royal Rumble? Yeah. yeah. Because but, of the way that the card right, worked yeah. out, there was really no mm-hmm. the way to do it any other um, <laughs> But yeah, no, none of these guys are going to benefit nope. really from this. And you would think, I mean, Reigns has lost his last, what, handful of big matches well he's lost to Res- lesnar twice in a row mm-hmm. um what do you he, he won he the elimination chamber match right um was he in the rumble yeah oh, yeah he got thrown out by shinsuke i know i'm just oh yeah that's right he was one of the last yeah. four oh, no he was the last two he was in the final two yeah, right. yeah 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 um so i don't know i mean you Samoa Joe really doesn't need it because he's on to SmackDown now. This is kind of... Yeah, but at the same time, I think that Joe... Joe needs it more than Reigns. Absolutely. Because then he'll be like, all right, I beat him, now I'm coming for your title. Yeah, because that gives him legitimacy. Yeah. But at the same time, they might be trying to build Roman... Back up. Yeah, so it's 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 really hard to tell. Yeah. Um, I think we might do the you pick one, I pick the other one. Well, I, we might as well go with the wrestler that we prefer. All right, so you're going with Joe and I'm yep. going with Roman? There you go. Okay. Right? That's fair. I really don't care about Oh, it doesn't I, matter. Honestly, I would I would feel, feel okay picking Joe. Yeah. But at the same time, it's just the way that they've been booking it's, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. It, and you just, would, like I said, you would think Roman would get a big win. Mm-hmm. But, but then at again, the same Joe time, has no momentum. He's yeah. just He's just talking. Yeah. There's literally nothing else he going beat on up for him. Sin Cara. Yeah, that's it. That's all he's done since he's been back. Yep, and uh, that's all the matches that we know of so far at the very yeah. least. Yeah, I don't expect much. That is eight matches. Anything. Yeah, so it's a pay-per-view. decently stacked card. Yeah, and only 
I think two of them will be very short, and it's actually both the women's matches. Mm, yeah. Um, because they're probably gonna give Jeff and Randy a okay amount of time. Do you know Brian and Big Cass might not be that long? Mm-hmm. Um, Seth and the Miz will probably be longer than the other ones. Bobby Lashley and Braun probably be pretty yeah. short. Um, Carmella, <clears throat> oh, I already talked about those. The Shinsuke and AJ will probably be the longest match. Well, I got to figure you got what half hour of video packages. It's the worst part. Titus Worldwide falling again. Or, uh, Titus. I'm sure they'll bring it up. But, yeah. But yeah. Backstage segments. Yeah. So yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, that was our predictions. Yes. So I guess check us out next time for our backlash review video. Yes. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.